Hey YouTube family, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to our daily hacking news series. Hit the like button to give a shout out to our team. So before starting, we are having one question for you. In case if there will be any cyber war between US and Russia, then what do you think? Who will be going to win? So share your answer in the comment section and we'll give a shout out in the next video. Now let's get right into the video. So first news is related to Lenovo. So three high impact unified extension firmware interface, which is called UEFI. So UEFI security vulnerability have been discovered impacting various Lenovo consumer laptop models, enabling malicious actor to deploy and execute firmware implemented on the affected devices. So recently, ESET researcher Martin said in a report which was published today that the vulnerability can be tracked as CV2021-3970, CV2021-3971 and CV2021-3972. The last second uh, and third CV basically affect firmware drivers which is or originally meant to be used only during the manufactured process of Lenovo consumer notebook. So this is huge, you may find a lot of blogs on the same thing in, in the internet. Now next news related to Kaspersky. So researchers from Kaspersky discovers a vulnerability in the encryption process of the Genluang ransomware that can be exploited to recover the files encrypted by the malware without paying the ransom. The general Wang ransomware was first spotted by the researchers from Semantic Threat Hunter team in October 2020 and the malware was used in highly targeted attacks against large enterprises. Also I remember a uh, few years back this malware has started a destructive way and was targeting a lot of enterprises. So in short Kaspersky released a free decryptor for Yulang ransomware so you can download from their website as well which is free of cost. Now next news is related to Microsoft and this is a very good news for the bug hunters. So in a bite to entice more security researchers to find the most serious vulnerability into its software and services, Microsoft is increasing the cash reward on offer up to 30%. The increase related to niche scenario based vulnerability for Microsoft Dynamics 365 and powered platform bug bounty and its M365 bug bounty. Dynamic 365 and Power Platform related to Microsoft Business Focus app, but M365 is focused on Office 365 and Microsoft accounts, which millions of Windows users rely on every day on this thing. So they have increased uh, the reward with 30% hike. Might be. Now, last news is related to NATO. So cyber organization, a credential by the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which is called NATO, will conduct what it bills as the largest and most complex live fire, live fire cyber de defense exercise in the world beginning in, on Tuesday. The NATO Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence, which is based in Estonia, said in an annual event called Locked Shield, in an intended to boost the skills of cybersecurity experts defending nations, IT security, system and critical infrastructure under jail time attacks. So the participants are deployed to assist a fictional country handle a large scale cyber attack. More than 2000 people from 32 nations including Ukraine are expected to be involved. So this is you who might be there preparing Ukraine for a very large cyber attack. So that's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you comment down your feedback, you may subscribe this YouTube channel because we are bringing hacking news on daily basis. So at last, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind.